North Korean dictator Kim Jong-un has either died or is in a vegetative state following botched heart surgery, journalists in the region have claimed. A team of Chinese medical experts were sent to advise on how to treat the 36-year-old leader, three sources close to the situation said. Vice Director of HKSTV Hong Kong Satellite Television Shijin Shinzi said a very solid source told her Kim had died. Yesterday Japanese magazine Shukin Jendai reported he was in a vegetative state after a delay in a simple heart procedure left him severely ill. Global speculation has mounted over the 36-year-old leader, as state media in Pyongyang has remained tight-lipped about his health and whereabouts. While there has been no confirmation of the dictator's death, Kim Jong-un dead has been trending on Twitter. Shukin Jendai said Kim clutched his chest and fell to the ground during a visit to the countryside earlier this month. A Chinese medical expert close to the situation told the weekly publication a stent procedure was needed and was done either badly or far too late, causing further complications. If the tyrant does die, it is thought his sister Kim Yo-jong is likely to take over. Chiang Seung Chang, an analyst at South Korea's private Sejong Institute, said social upheaval would not be likely in the event of the leader's death. He said Kim Yo-jong is already exercising significant influence within the government and that most members of Pyongyang's leadership share an interest with the Kim family in maintaining the North system. Earlier this week the leader's health was reportedly being monitored by US intelligence officials who were thought to have been told he was in grave danger after his cardiovascular operation. Former CIA Deputy Division Chief for North Korea Bruce Klinger told CNN previous rumors about Kim being in poor health had turned out to be false and that the country's extreme secrecy made it difficult to establish the facts. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe for more latest news.